Hello, have you made a tunnel card before? Watch along, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put together. So let's get started. So here is our tunnel card. I have used the gorgeous hues of Happiness Suite and this beautiful paper, isn't it just so lovely? I'm gonna go along and show you how to make it. Don't stress too much about the measurements. I'll add those on my blog later so you'll be able to catch those. So what you'll need is a piece of designer series paper. I'm going for a different pattern on this card and that teams really nicely with the fresh freesia. We've got a white card. We'll, I'll give you the measurements shortly. Two pieces of designer series paper and your base card. That's your standard base size. So I'll bring your paper trimmer in. So your standard base card for metric is 14.8 by 21 centimeters, scoring at 10.5, or eight and a half by five and a half, score at four and a quarter. For your front piece, you'll want a piece of coordinating cardstock, 10.1 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters, so four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Your piece of pattern paper is 9.7 by 14 centimeters or four inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's for your base of the card. You'll want a piece of white card. This is 14.4 centimeters by 20.6 centimeters or at eight and three eighths by five and three eighths. Now for the scoring, that's really important part. I've already scored this, but I'm going to run it through. You want to score it at 5.2 centimeters. Make sure you don't touch that blade. Get that out of your way. So you're going to score it at 5.2 centimeters, 10.3 centimeters, and 15.5 centimeters. We need to open up your arm for that one and score that. In Imperial, you'll score it at two and one sixteenth, four and three sixteenths, and six and a quarter. But as I said, don't stress about those measurements. I'll write them on my blog later. Your pieces of designer series paper, even the other reverse patterns are so gorgeous. They will be 4.8 centimeters by 14 centimeters. You'll cut two of those. In inches, it will be two inches by five and a quarter inches for the left one or and the right one it's just slightly different it's two and one eighths by five and a quarter inches All right, let's get to the actual creating so on your white card you're actually going to cut your window you can use any shape that you like I'm using these lovely new stylish shapes dies and just picking out a circle in that. I love the stitched edging on it. So just cut your shape. You'll just position that in the center of this middle score line. Just position that there and run that through your die cut and emboss machine. So I'll just run and do that. I'll be back shortly. Now we've cut that out. Don't throw out your centerpiece because we're going to use that. Now we're going to stick these pieces of design the series paper onto the sides. Just run a little bit of your Tombow or whatever adhesive you prefer to use. So we're going to fold that. You can fold that before you add your pieces of paper on if you like. So to fold it, just fold that in half and we're going to fold it inwards, these pieces inwards. So just get your bone folder and just run that along 
there to crisp up the folds and fold this one in too. Now the big part of it is the sticking it down inside. So grab your card base, just give that a crisp fold. Now stick this down, do one half at a time. Now you only wanna place your adhesive just on the section, not the whole back of the card. So just run that Position that inside your card. Oops, slip that with the glue. That's okay. Now to do that together, just close up your base card and give it a rub. And then you can glue this side of it. And fold that up. Give it a bit of a press. So we'll let that dry for a minute. Grab your piece of paper for the front and adhere that down onto your card. I'm using Fresh Freesia. You can stick that straight on the front of your card too. What I wanted to show particularly is adding that center piece in inside it. So with your die cut circle you've had, make sure your line, the scored line is going up and down. And we're going to just stamp our sentiment. I thought this was a lovely sentiment from the stamp set. So we're using this, um, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. So just use your tuxedo black. Make sure that it's facing the right way. Not that it matters too much, you can turn your circle around. Let's do it the right way. And I also I'm going to use one of these tiny little flowers. Just stamp that offset. There we go. You can add another one if you wanted to. We're just going to add one. And we're going to colour that quickly with the Stampin' Blends. So I'm just going to use, I don't have Fresh Freesia, and, but the Highland Heather works really well with it. So just, I'm going to start with dark. I know you usually do the light first. But because they're such tiny flowers, you don't need to do a lot of blending. But I'll add a little bit of the dark down the, in the near the centres of the flowers. Using the fine tip works better. And this time we're just using the light to blend that out to the edges. We're also going to use our Granny Apple Green. I'm just going to use the light just to show it. Now to position that inside our card, oops, we're going to place the adhesive on the back. You want to add Sorry, was a bit heavy handed with that one. Now it will work better if you just, you could just glue one half of the circle first, position that like we did the edges, but I just went 
all out and just glued the whole thing. But you just position it as long as that score line lines up. Press that down. While that dries, we're just going to add our flower. Now, on this card, I stamped one of the flowers and colored that with the blends. You can do that. But for this one, I'm actually going to use the pretty paper. So I've die cut the flower out already from another project I was doing. But isn't it great that, I'll bring this in, Don't, isn't it great that the dies work with the paper and you can cut that out. No fussy cutting with scissors. And it works the same for the leaves. You can just grab, this is for one of the larger leaves. You've also got the smaller leaf there too. Cut those out. And if you're going for a smaller flower, you can just cut that out. How cool is that? Stampin' Up! is so clever when they coordinate the dies with the paper. So I'm just, I am haven't cut these leaves out, so I'm just going to run and do that as well. There we go. I'll just move that paper out. And we've got some leaves. We've got the flowers. So you can just decide. I'm going to use a large one, I think. Just add some adhesive just to the tip. We'll just put that together. So just remember the two that you can get any of these products that you see in my store if you're in Australia. I'll just add, be adding the link on the description on YouTube. Pop on by. So we'll just, we need to glue that flat because you don't want any bulk inside it. So just stick that down. You have room there to write on it. So I'll just show you now when you put that through. Just bend these folds forward and fold it up. So you have the pretty tunnel effect, the gorgeous flowers and the beautiful paper. You can add a sentiment on that. For this one, I have just added the best wishes. I've cut it with one of the other dies from the Stylish Shapes dies with a punch lead from the Bow Punch. So I hope you like it. I hope you give it a go. Give it a thumbs up if you like it or a like if you're watching on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you with another project very soon. So have a great day. Bye.